couple of quick programming projects with the uh, XL2T. This is actually a, an old keypad. The new keypads all program the same. Uh, to arm the system, you would push, uh, in this case, the arm disarm code is one, two, three, four. So that would arm it. You would have 60 seconds to exit. If you don't exit, it'll go into the stay mode and uh, it will not arm intern uh, interior detectors. Uh, should you go out, you have the 60 seconds to leave. Now you have 30 seconds to come back in. And when you come back in, you have the 30 seconds and you have to get to the keypad without having come through zone one, as, as long as that setup is your delay zone. And to disarm the system, again, it's that same four digit code to disarm it. Uh, you can put in several different user codes to arm and disarm. To, do, to change your user code you would push the code button. The one, two, three, four is what's programmed into position one or your code number one now so you'd enter that code. Uh, zero two, if we're going to put a new user in, we're going to call it into position zero two. And the new number, 9876, and it'll beep again, and now 9876 will arm the system, as well as disarm the system, and 1, 2, 3, 4 will arm the system, as well as disarm the system. After you get it used to arming and disarming, you probably want to change what's in position 1 to a different number, because that's the code you need to remember to be able to arm and disarm. Uh, another, to get into the installer codes, that's a code that gets in there to make the changes to the programming questions. In this case we're going to go in and change question number, or we're going to change the 12 volt, or we're going to change the siren to be a 12 volt siren rather than using the driver that's built into the circuit board. So to do that we have to know the installer code which is the default is 2468. So in the question 12 is the location that we have to change. That is the uh, siren, whether it's uh, 12 volts or or uh, using the driver. And it's location 2. There's actually four locations in that question, but it's location 2. So to get to that location, first we have to push code, the star button, the uh, installer code 2, 4, 6, 8, now we have to push the number one button, and then we're going to push the star one, two, to get to question 12, and then we push the pound button to get to move from the first part of question 12 to the second part, then we enter the zero to change that what was in there is one, now it's zero, so that's the uh, thing that changes the uh, actual voltage that'd be a 12 volt output and you push the pound button again and it moves actually to, st to question the third part of question 12 but we're not going to make any more changes so to get out of the programming mode and to save everything you push the stay button the lights will go out for a few seconds come back on and now that programming has been changed uh, you do the same thing with um, other parts of questions you want to change. You might want to change the entry and exit time delays or the uh, uh, bell cutoff times, but they're just different questions. You look up on the uh, manual that tells you which question it is. You get in with that code star 2468, push the number one button, then you push the star, and then the question number, which might be in, in our case was question 12, in your case it might be question one. The pound w is used, the pound button is used to move between the parts of the question. And when you finally finished all your parts, you push the stay button to get out of the programming, and that saves it. It's a quick rundown.